microphone check one two 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 only three days to christmas now let's get started with this tutorial on how to create list views in the jquery mobile framework now as you can see this is what we looked at in the previous tutorial we are looking at the jquery buttons how you can style them add icons to them so in case you missed the first tutorial make sure you check out that tutorial let me refresh this page so that we'll be left with nothing apart from the header and footer plus this empty content and this is our page now remember everything that is visible in the page will be in between this parent div with the data role of main and this class of ui dash content so that's where all our stuff is going to be now i'm just going to space put some little space there so let's talk about list views we have the read read only list views read only we have the because read only there is an ordered list and ordered list and we also have the clickable lists so those are the different types of lists i'm going to be showing you in this tutorial now i'm just going to create my some h2 h3s and i say read only read only an ordered an ordered list so let me copy this on two times and this one is going to be ordered list and these ones are going to be clickable clickable lists so let's start with the read only and ordered list so you create this unordered list tag let's try to space and inside here you put the list items li and i'm just going to say HTML down below here it says CSS now let us save time because I'm going to cover everything about this list items and I'm going to put here JavaScript and I'm going to put here bootstrap to so save this and preview it in our emulator and this is what we are having so far it's the default list you already see but if we go into this unordered list the ul and we add a data role of data role of list view save it or list view not list views and you see by default this will be our list view as you can see now it's a read only you can do nothing with it apart from highlighting the items so that's the read only and ordered list now let's go to the read only ordered list so this is the basic markup of every html ordered list you say ol and inside you put the and inside we are going to put the list items i'm just going to copy the same items and i push them inside here now let, let us stab our work so that it looks neat let's pull up save this view it and you see now we also have to give this one a data role of list view data dash role equals list view refresh that and we shall be having this read only ordered list so that's how you can create such amazing lists using the jquery mobile framework now so far you're seeing we are only adding this data road of list view list view now let's go to the clickable lists 
you're going to make them unordered because we don't want these to be among our links and you say li now the difference with the clickable list you have to add the ank tag href and cross it so everything like html will be in between this let me copy this several times oh we have to remove this uh, here so let me copy this several times and this one's going to be css this one's going to be javascript and this one is going to be bootstrap let's save and preview it in our browser oh we have to give this one a data role an attribute of data role equals list view save that and preview it as you can see we have these nice looking clickable list views with these custom icons you can see so those are the different types of list views you can use on your web page now there are very very many attributes you can add to these list views let's say you don't want them to cover the full width of this container or the parent container where they are found now what you have to do is to add this simple class called data insert equals true come here and say data dash insert equals true refresh and preview it in our browser as you can see now it has been brought in the middle and given this border radius around it so you can go on and add this attribute to every list view you want on your website refresh that and as you can see we are having them insert so guys i guess now you're seeing how things are very easy with that now let's say you want to add some filters on these children element and you want to put less a filter on them what you have to do is let's try to filter these ones you just come to the unordered list you add another attribute called data dash filter equals true refresh that and you see we shall be having an active filter when i type h they will bring only html when i put j they will bring javascript so you can easily create a search engine on your web page using only this data attribute data dash filter equals true so there are very very many attributes you can add on this filter also there is now let's say you want to change this text inside so this one is also known as the placeholder if you're well off with html and i hope you know html up to where we are right now so in case you want to change that placeholder you have to say data dash filter dash placeholder place holder and you write what you want to be visible on the web page let's say search it get it to so save that and preview it on your browser and as you can see you have search it get it so somebody can come and write css t when you write t they will bring every item that is having the letter t on your web page now as you can see it's very 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 simple now let's add the same attribute to this the dash filter let's add the same attribute refresh as you can see also this one has that search engine or filter now let's say you don't want this to be visible on the screen before the user starts to search it now you have to add also another attribute called the 
data dash filter dash reveal so you want them to reveal the content after they have focused in the input and start on the key down when they start placing and everything will be filtered you say true so data dash filter dash reveal as when we refresh all these children we will be lost the child elements as you can see it is an empty it's some it's only the filter that will be visible but the moment i start to type in see they will bring every phase or child element that has the letter c on it so you can easily create such a search engine on your web page now i guess that's all we have on the list views unless i missed out something you will go to the jquerymobile.com in their documentation and search out about new stuff lastly if you want to change the icons on these list views you're seeing if you don't want this to be with this custom thumbnail icon you can come to the list items and say data dash icon equals and write what you want anything that you want and you can say let's say home and i'm also just going to change the gram of home here it's option you can put what you want as you can see now we are having the symbol of home on that icon so you can easily play and customize the icons you want to appear on the, on the web page as you can see here this is it that's what you have to be having to create such nice list items now you can also add the hyper reference where you want this so maybe you have also another page of css then you have to put here like css to target that link where you want the user to go when the user clicks on css you have to create another different page holding this css item so guys that's it for this tutorial if it was useful to you please go ahead subscribe to the channel like the videos share them on different social medias and i will see you in the next tutorial and this is what we created we having our active filters we have the one which reveals content after the user starts to type in and also the clickable list views peace subscribe